Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to benchmark like how I do. A lot of you probably already know that I use CapFrame X and the Windows Performance Toolkit for my benchmarks, so links to both of those will be in the description for you. For CapFrame X, you just click download, and then make sure it is the installer and not portable. So click on that, save it to your machine, and then with the folder, right click, Extract. Once you're here, just double click on the exe, hit more info, run anyways, hit I agree to the license terms and conditions, install, and then go ahead and open up the program. Once you're inside of here, there is a few settings that I would recommend changing. For the capture hotkey, I usually do something out of place like L, and for the capture time, you can do whatever you want here. If you do zero, that means that there's no limit, but if you only want to benchmark for a certain amount of time, it's gonna be in seconds for you. So if you wanna do like 15 minutes, do 900. And the capture delay is a really nice feature. So you can start your benchmark, but it actually won't start capturing until that time in seconds. The reason why that's handy is so then you have more accurate benchmarks because tabbing in and out from CapFreeMex Max to whatever game that you are benchmarking, you don't want that sort of tabbing in and out on your benchmarks. So adding a delay solves that issue. I would personally recommend something like 10 seconds. That should be plenty enough time. And then once you actually have a benchmark done, just go ahead and click on it. And for the graph down below, I would recommend unchecking the 95th percentile, the 5th, the 0 0.2, the 1% low average and the 0.1% low average. And as a alternative option, you can also uncheck the 1 percentile and the 0.1 percentile and use the 1% low average along with the 0.1% low average. And then just like that, you can see your frame times, your average and your lows. And you can also see how many seconds of smooth gameplay that you have along with stuttering. So that's gonna be it for CapFrame X. Once you get to this page, click this top link right here, click download the Windows ADK. And then once you have it saved and dragged to your desktop, you wanna just double click, hit next. Make sure you disallow Microsoft Collecting Insights, so make sure that this says no. Hit next, accept the license, and then uncheck everything except for the Windows Performance Toolkit. Afterwards, hit install. It'll go through it all really quickly. And then once it's completed, you'll have something called the Windows Performance Recorder. Go ahead and pin that to your taskbar and then open it up where you'll be greeted with this page and it's as simple as just hitting start. Record it for whatever amount of time that you want to. And then once you do do that, just hit save, save again, where then you'll have the option to open it in WPA. So go ahead and click on that. Then as soon as that finishes, you want to open up the dropdown for computation, look for DPC slash ISR, right click on that, add it to the analysis view, where you wanna click on this cog wheel, and then you want to uncheck everything except for module and then both of these duration fragmented. And inside of these two, change the custom format to microseconds on both of them. Hit apply, hit okay. And then your graph should look something like this, where the important ones are pretty much these top four ones here that you see, the NTOS kernel, which is your Windows kernel. For NVIDIA users, this is the NVIDIA driver. This is your DirectX kernel. And then lastly, this top one, the USB XHCI is also important too. Ones that might be a little bit less common, but still important is the NDIS, which is your network. And that for the most part should cover the important ones that you need when benchmarking. For AMD GPU users, I believe that the name that you're looking for here is the AMD KMDAG dot system, which is the modern naming convention for it currently. And if you have a older or legacy AMD driver, it might be something like ATI KMDAG. Now you might want to know how to actually benchmark within the game. And there's two ways that you can go about doing this. Method one, which I would recommend is if you have a game like Fortnite, you can utilize the replay feature so you can have the exact same test over and over again. Or option two, which would work for all games is choose one spot on the map try to make sure that it's single player so then you don't have to deal with outside variables and then just focus on one specific part of the map make sure that the crosshair lines up and everything you're standing in the same spot that's method number two or there is actually method three which is you just play a game as normal and see how that goes which i think that might be a little bit more accurate to how a tweak would work in the actual game instead of a single player or just a replay so choose between those methods see what works for you with that I'm going to shamelessly plug my Twitch, go follow it, turn on notifications, I stream there every now and then. With that everyone, love you all, appreciate ya, and I'll see you in the next one.